waiting to go get that reward for marching through the shell. Got something against free money? No, not at all. I'm ready to go now. I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favorite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. Huh, <laughs> okay. So Sarah's coming with us. Uh, who else should we take? How about Iron Bull and uh, Solus? Oh, th this reminds me. I also, uh, during that uh, off-camera time, before the previous video, I also killed two more dragons. So I've killed three of the ten dragons in this game so far. Got more dragon scales, dragon bones, some extra ni some a uh, couple other nice equipment pieces. Oh, by the way, you should now see uh, a really nice set of armor that I was able to uh, make or or get. Wait, this is weird. Look at that. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Calm down. I can help. Quiet yourself. We're here to help. Help? Had enough help. I complain about a fight and suddenly I'm an agent or something. You were the one with the rumor out of Vachelle. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. I actually won the red. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Yeah, check out my new armor. It's the superior hunter armor along with a really powerful Grey Warden helm set. Involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheath our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Hold on. Leave this piss bag. He started it. Hold on a second. I just realized you guys need to, uh. You guys hold up. I need to give you guys your points, so. Let's do that for her. Iron Bull. He's got that done. Let's get this to him. This is an awesome ability. I cannot wait to give him this. Earth Shattering Strike. Oh, it's so good. And Solus. He's got that. Let's give you Garden Spirit. Okay. So yeah, check out this armor. Pretty nice, huh? Also these weapons. Yeah, this is something I forgot to show you guys in the previous video. Look at this. I crafted this armor. From the schematic I got. Superior hunter armor. I call it Punisher. Like like the the Punisher. Anyway. And uh got I crafted this superior warden helmet. It's gold. I used I made it out of dragon bones or dragon scales, either one. And I called it Overlord. Cause it, I don't know, it, it kinda reminds me of uh somewhat of the helmet that you that you wear if you play the Overlord games. You guys know what those games. Anyway. And uh, here's a, a unique dagger I got, Lady of Costa's Revenge. And then, of course, we still have Sting. So anyway, now that I've shown you guys that, let's talk to this guy. Sarah is pretty mad at him, but let's see what he has to say. A noble. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmond. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason... After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. <laughs> Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. <laughs> That's my ally you attacked. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me? Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. Despite your foreign nature, as Inquisitor, huh. you are a social peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. 
Ass biscuit. <laughs> Quiet. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. Hmm. The thing is, if I ask him questions, then, uh, if I just keep asking him, Sarah's eventually just gonna kill him. Without me asking all of them. Huh. Let me ask what he can commit to us before I decide if I want him to work for the Inquisition. What would you be willing to commit to the Inquisition? Why even ask? Because a leader needs such information to make informed decisions. He's right on that. My family has ties across Lower Ferelden. Our presence in Orlais is recent, which is why I resorted to subterfuge. We have militia elsewhere, and they can be made expendable for your purposes. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. All right, you'll serve the Inquisition. A partnership gets me your enemies. I need the territory. What are you doing? He's half the mess in Vachel. And now his job is recruiting the other. Consider your lands and title requisition. Oh! You open the bargaining. Think of your immediate options. Surprising. Disappointing, but also welcome over the alternative. <laughs> Won't be hearing from you again. Ha, <laughs> nice. Be sure to return the favor. I got him to work with us by, like, got, I, I got rid of uh, his title, his rights, all that. So he's going to work for us and recruit uh, the territory rather than uh, have him be, par be a partner. He's just going to work for us. So, I thought Sarah was going to be mad about that, but she actually liked that. She's like, hey, you ruined his position. Very nice. <laughs> I wasn't sure if she liked me or not, because the last time I, I did that, uh, I just kept asking him questions, and she just went ahead and just killed him. She didn't want to hear anymore. So, I was like, eh, I'll ask him one question, then I'll try and see if I can recruit him. And it worked out. She approved. As long as I had that choice... I only had that choice because I had those uh, per the perk that allowed that dialogue choice. So it's very important to get those dialogue choice perks. There's you. How is that Harmond mess, hey? I should be angry you let him live. But his kind really hate a leash. <laughs> yes, they I do. Mean, he deserved worse for turning it all bad. But we made out just fine. Good one, you. Huh. Huh. Unpredictable, but worth it. Risky, but keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Huh. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that acceptance thing you're doing right there. <laughs> I want us to be friends. We'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all right, Inquisitor. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. Okay, yeah, we'll see if it does last. Tens of party operation available. Okay. Demon armies and wardens, and Varric has exactly who we need. The big talker just knows everything. Ha <laughs> ha. Is your group still active? Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsold and Vichel? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. You should be one of them, but maybe not. So watch out for that. Huh. <laughs> Do your pranks achieve much? We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? We'd have helped more if you hadn't been so chummy. <laughs> I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring. Even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. <laughs> That's actually a fair point. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. <laughs> We'll Alright, that's enough. Time. It's all good, isn't it? Yeah. Good work out yeah, there, so boss. far. Those blighted nugs won't infect anything now. 
thanks for joining me. Does Sutherland have another quest right or so? She's great, right? Training hard, Inquisitor. You have the best people, and we're gonna help. Okay. Oh, another operation. I knew it. I knew if I went to him, he'd give me another operation. Sup, Krem? Your worship. All right. Goodbye. We'll talk later. Did you hear the news? Of course. She's got such a nice voice. Control Sup, space. three eyes. Oh. <laughs> Sup, three eyes. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's an exclamation point. Wait, is that Iron Bull? I think it is. Bull, you got a quest for me, buddy? He does. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Ha! Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Huh. Shouldn't this be private? You want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Oh, okay. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. <laughs> you know they've got training dummies, Chief. <laughs> the training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield back. Oh! Anyway, <laughs> Ben Hasrath letter. All right. What's in the letter? What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. Really? With you, boss. The Canari and the Inquisition joining forces. Wow! Think about that. The the Kunari joining the Inquisition. My gosh, what an alliance that would be. I'm interested. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. Yep. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Really? Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. <laughs> They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. Huh. So what are they offering? What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Gunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. Is something wrong? You seem a little upset about it. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. Huh. Oh, do you not want them to spread? I thought Kanari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kune answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. Really? I guess it's not huh. like we're converting. Yeah. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front... I think we're good. But he's, but in the back of his mind, he's worried that this could go even further, where the, this alliance could make the Kunari maybe want to enforce trying to convert everyone to the Kuhn. And he's a little worried about that. Alright, I'll do it. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Okay, then. Gunari Dreadnoughts, that's been unlocked. Is there anything I can make here? I can still make this, even though there's no point. <laughs> Since I finished, uh... I was able to get the Assassin specialization, so even if I make this for the Artificer, it doesn't matter at all. Same with this, the bottle of smoke. It's not gonna matter, but... Do I need the obsidian for anything else? I probably do. Hold I'll hold here, off. I'll, I'll hold off. Closer. Whoa! Do you see that? Look at. Do you see that guard fall from up there? And look at this. The guard is sitting down on nothing. 
The guard is sitting on mid air on 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 air. There's nothing there. There's no chair or anything. <laughs> oh, the bugs in this game are so funny. What do you need, my friend? You have any advice, Cassandra? Oh yeah, just get up and walk do away you now. Have any advice for me? <laughs> Watch the treasury carefully with that Sarah present. You think she's here to rob us? Possibly not, but I would hardly put it past her. Wow. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Oh, so paranoid, Cassandra. All right. Let's see. Who else should I try and talk to? Oh, that's right. We're gonna talk to the others over here. See if they have anything to say. Colin is up there, but. Varric, you got anything to talk about? What can I do for you, Inquisitor? Ooh, uh, a lot of stuff here. Let's discuss the Inquisition. What are your thoughts the on the Inquisition? What a show! The Inquisition. Well Here we go. I'm a fan of diversification and all, but do we have the strength to handle major issues when they come up? Huh. All right. I've already talked to him about this. Never mind. Let's see. Hey, Solus. Inquisitor. I was. Do you have a moment? Yeah, you okay? Last time we talked, it was about your friend. You alright? What were you like? Before the anchor? I was in the Carta. Has it affected you? Changed you in any way? Your mind? Your morals? Your... Spirit? Huh. I don't think so. I don't believe so. Ah. What do you ask? Yeah, what are you thinking? You show a wisdom I have not seen since... Since my deepest journeys into the ancient memories of the Fade. Aww. You are not what I expected. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he meant that as a compliment. You make that sound bad. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> it's not disappointing, it's... Most people are predictable. But I'm Wars not. are... Practical. <laughs> They do not dream. They cannot even imagine a world beyond the physical. But you have shown a subtlety in your actions. I'm not your average dwarf. A wisdom that goes against everything I know. I'm smarter than the average dwarf. What about our friends? I'm just one part of this team, Solus. What about Cassandra or Liliana? Cassandra separates matters of faith from those of the world. Huh. And she above all should understand how limited that is. Liliana has a brilliant mind, but her faith was damaged. To her, it is all a game of tactics now, but not you. So what does this mean, Solus? It means that I respect you deeply, Inquisitor. Oh, thank you. And I have disturbed you enough for one evening. Oh, no, don't. It's all right. You don't have to go. Oh, that was so nice of him. So nice when they say that they, that they highly respect you. Such a nice compliment. Okay. Let's go back to the uh, to that area. It would be nice if after these uh, conversations where they take you to talk that you actually are back where you started rather than have to make your way all the way back to the same room. <laughs> see if Solo said anything else to talk about. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, that's enough. Goodbye. Okay, let's go up here see if anyone else has anything to talk about. Let's check in with Dorian. What's up, Dorian? I heard a little rumor about you. Oh, what would that, that be? So? Indeed, someone's been doing some training as an assassin, no less. Ah, I think the skills are useful. The skills involved are rather handy. I should say, with the amount of killing you do, a bit of flair is a fine thing. <laughs> I don't kill that many people. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm only surprised you didn't kill someone walking over here. Hey! At any rate, if you ever intend to make it an actual profession, do tell me. <laughs> the Antivan crows have nothing on the Imperium. I know people. Keep it in mind. Ah, okay. Uh, Alright, that's enough. I should go. As you wish. 
<laughs> so he wants, he's like, look, I know plenty of people, you know, like, yeah, the Antivan Crumbs are good, but, uh, but man, the Imperium, boy, those people know how, know how to assassinate. <laughs> I got people, I know people. Hey, Liliana. They tell me you have a gift for shadows and blades. Uh-huh, she knows too. I do what I can. They flatter me. I can only do my best and hope it is enough. For the Inquisition to succeed, its leader must be willing to do what it takes. As your spy master, may I say that I am pleased. My agents appreciate that they can look at the Herald and see themselves. Have I ever talked about my friend Zevran? He was an Antivan crow. Ah, yes, he was Zevran. good at it. We only met because he failed to kill a mark. Huh. But he made me laugh. Ha <laughs> yes. Good old Zevran. Any updates? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Okay, carry on. I'll leave you to your work. Okay, so now, why don't we head on over to talk to Colin. I don't have a... Oh, hold on. Never mind. Bonsai! Ah, my leg. <laughs> Hello, Cullen. Oh, hold on. Oh, what did you want to talk about? Oh, look at this playing chess like. with Dorian. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even <laughs> inquisitor? Oh, don't stop. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. Please don't stop on my account. Yeah, keep All playing. Right. Your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. <laughs> You'll feel much better. Oh, the really? smugness of because Dorian. I just won. And <laughs> I feel fine. Oh, he just won. Nice. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. That's coming from you, I Dorian. I return to my duties <laughs> as well. Unless you would care for a game. Ooh. You're on. Prepare the board, Commander. Yes. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Nice. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. Oh. I wonder if she still plays. Huh. <laughs> look at this. Cheat, let him win, play fair. Well, let's first ask him about his family. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Oh. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Huh. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> let's play fair. All right, let's see what you've got. Let's see if you can still beat me if I play fair. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition. Oh, it's a long game. Matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. Huh. There's no need for formality. We've been through enough to drop the formalities and simply talk. I suppose we have. Check. <laughs> I believe this one is yours. Well, nice, I won. <laughs> Check me. I'm sure it's a different different game. I'm just thinking it's chess. It reminds me of chess. That was cool. We got to play a game with uh, Colin and talk about his family. Provided him with a distraction from everything that's going on. Anything else to talk about, Colin? Did you need something? Uh, is there anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? Sarah brought me a piece of cake. <laughs> she thought I looked hungry. Why are you telling me this? Because it was either an act of kindness or a trap. <laughs> I was hoping you knew. <laughs> it could have been a prank. <laughs> that's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. For all he knows, that cake could have been a... Could have had some X lax in it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Excuse me. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> I can totally see her doing that if they even have X lax in Dragon Age. But you know, I'm sure they've got something that can uh, do that. <laughs> I can totally see Sarah doing that to Cullen. Oh man. Uh, Josephine, you got anything to talk about? A pleasure. Anything to report? What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Okay, goodbye. Let's speak later. Another time. Alright. 
Yeah, there's some other characters we haven't even asked some of the other in-depth questions about them. Maybe we'll do that in the next video. I'll talk to both Josephine and uh, Cole. Because I know that those are two that uh, there are plenty of questions I can ask. I just haven't taken the time to do so. Alright, let's take a look at the uh, war table. Because I know some operations are ready to uh, be turned in. And some others have opened up. Alright, let's take a look here. Up, oh, there's one ready to go there. Deal with the angry of our guests. A clever idea in theory. We lost soldiers to sandstorms in Young Pits of Death. Oh no! But the local wildlife is safe, and that's what's important, right? Rylan. Aww. Red Jenny attends a party. What are the other ones over here? Outfitting the crew. End. What's this? Oh, it uh, has to do with my specialization. There is a lady sitting amidst the tattered splendor of her nobility. Her only legacy is an ancient name. High in esteem, she may restore wealth and dignity to her line by marrying the man whom she was promised at birth. He is prosperous and powerful, but leaves her cold. The lady sits by her casement and gazes at the soldier who truly was her heart. She prays to the maker for deliverance. She prays for intervention, a sudden knife, and we hear her cry. How will the maker's instrument strike? Will he strike, and not for the herald to unravel? Air. Huh. So either... So Josephine says, If the lady requests an assassin, it is not for us to say she should not. The contract is between her and those who, she, who, those she has hired. Let the lady marry her betrothed, then strike at him as she asks. She gains wealth, her true love, and we earn her gratitude. What ridiculous game is this? Is killing for love better, better or worse than killing for power? The Inquisition does not serve the romantic whims of nobles. Hmm. Huh. I knew Liliana would have a, a pretty good idea for how this should go. Alright, let's have uh, huh. heavy armor. Hidden arm they could be. Huh. To outfit the crew so than the leads. Well, let me check the other ones. Red Jenny attends a party. Lights out, not murder, just let them stumble in darkness. It is trivial to ensure we are represented, but should we encourage such base behavior? A small training exercise outside will disrupt the event. Surely the Inquisitor cannot be a part of such things. It seems a base prank to intentionally disrupt such an affair. A letter from the Sarah. This guy... <laughs> Sovereigns pay for it. Embarrass him at his own party and you please a dozen people. People with keys and little else. Huh. Okay. So we've got a few different ones we can do. I'm gonna have uh, Lelion do this one. Inquisitor. Let's have Josephine do this one. At your service. And then let's have Cullen do this one over here. He says he can provide a, dis a disrupt the event. There we go. To work. <laughs> All right, so they'll work on those. I've got 124 power. Yeah, I think as you'll see, you'll see here in a second, my Inquisition's influence is, I think, rank 10 now. Yep, look at that. Very nice. So we've also got a side quest for for Iron Bull, Demands of the Kuhn. Head for the Storm Coast with Bull. So I guess when we come back, we will probably talk more in depth with Josephine and Cole, and then maybe we'll head off to the coast to help out... Uh, Iron Bull with uh, our new Kunari Alliance. Stay tuned! <laughs>